Hey friends, um, you're welcome to another beautiful edition of the Karindu Show. I am your girl Hope Norma, anchoring the sweet and saltiest gist on the Karindu Show. You're welcome, and here with me today is two beautiful souls who are here to share with us their lovely experiences. As you know, the sweet and the sad stories. So, follow me. Let's go and uh, get these details from these beautiful people. Let's go. Hi, Nadine and Maria. Hello. <laughs> You're welcome to my program. Yay. Thank you. How have you been? I've been great. Generally, how is the life of um, a student being in Malaysia? Um, per, as, a, as an international student, mm. um, we get kind of, um, it's hard to relate sometimes, you know, <laughs> yeah, to, yeah, yeah. with the other fellow local exactly. Malaysians, yeah. right? You know, the, you can't understand some things, but generally the people here are actually really uh, welcoming. Right. Yeah, they're, they're, actually, very, yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. very helpful and they just, uh, they can They can just talk to you, you yeah, know, yeah. as um, just small chat everywhere, which is not common in the Philippines actually. Wow. Um, people just mind their own business in yeah. the Philippines. No, and yeah, it, they, they have this related mind. Yeah, yeah. And, and here you, they just chat to you whenever they're like, oh, my, you look nice, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, thank you. And it's like so nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's just some things I can't relate to. That's okay. That's okay. So you're welcome to my program. Yes. And here on this show, we talk gist of our real life experience yes. actually our sweet and sad moments sweet and sad. yeah yep. you know we all go through the sweet days and the bad days, the bad days. Yeah. so kindly first of all can you tell my oh, friends yeah. your name and where you're from of course um, I'm Nadine and I'm from the Philippines. Okay. Hi, I'm Mariam and I'm from Egypt. You're welcome to my program. Yay! <laughs> it's good to have you here. So, I'm starting with you, Nadine. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Tell us, share one special. I know you don't have a lot, like you, not really, no, but. Yeah. On the other hand, we all have our sweet memories, either present mm -hmm. or past, new or old. So, just give us one sweet moment of your life sweet moment would be um actually uh could it be like kind of sad or <laughs> we, are, we are going for the sweet oh now. yeah <laughs> my bad sorry i'm getting things mixed up <laughs> um <laughs> uh okay uh um actually uh yesterday is yesterday <laughs> um me and my friends like mariam and my our our my other friends mm. were you know, just chatting with each other, just having fun and like sharing interests and being weird and funny. I guess <laughs> <laughs> being loud, being loud too. We were just walking around in, in this campus, just talking to each other, like making funny jokes. Like yeah. there's nothing else to worry about at that yeah at that, that moment. moment. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. You just take take a day at the yeah, time. Like exactly, exactly. Like, right. Just being friends, like relieving so, your stress. There's one particular thing that you whispered to me the last time from your mom and dad. So oh yeah, you're from my mom and from my mom and dad. Uh -huh. um, whenever we talk through the call, you know, they always share what happened in their lives. And sometimes they they sh they, they send pictures, like mm. selfies of themselves going to the mall. They're like, you know, so, uh, and then it's so sweet seeing like how much they want to share their life to me when mm. I'm like so far away. So and then away. they also want to listen to, to me when mm. I, uh, I'm going through something. And even for something so small, like, oh, mom, I'm actually like having a headache. They, mm. they freak out. They're like, what? You should <laughs> take meds or like, to, like get, get someone to help you. Or, um, mm. and, and it's like, it's just like really, it, it makes me feel happy that knowing I that mean, they care your, your, your that sweet much. moment revolves around your, your parents, parents, like sharing quality time, yeah. them giving you their 100% attention, mm -hmm. like showing you all the love. Yeah. Wow, even just really through the small stuff, you know, mm. through, through short conversations. I think they, the parents have a way of celebrating every little win. Like they don't yeah. want to let everything slip away. Every little thing with their with their um, children. Right? And you cherish yeah. that a lot. Yeah, I do. Mm. It, it it makes me feel um, in, you know 
cherished and <laughs> loved. And loved yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes, exactly. And then on the other side, tell us what oh. one annoying moment of your An life. Annoying moment <laughs> is right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the this is the second take. <laughs> and the the mic just died on us. <laughs> okay. Like a, five seconds through the <laughs> through the video and we had that's to redo this a, that's yes. very annoying yeah so that's a, very that's a right. time right there <laughs> so yeah <laughs> i guess that could count as, as like a bad time a bad day I bet. <laughs> just a little bit though just a little bit yeah. another but, one okay another one would be um yeah about you know, in, the, in the first one we were sharing something when oh, those yeah. people would be when i had an argument micro monitoring you yeah well, micro monitor <laughs> like my parents you know being protective as always uh, we had an argument last night you know because they they want to know every single detail about all the way what's happening you when know? you're taking your shower yeah. when yeah. you're eating when you're sleeping when you woke up mm -hmm. are you brushing your teeth now <laughs> yeah did have you, you put your on meds? your shoes yeah <laughs> you take your meds who are you with uh can i have your friend's number <laughs> i'm telling you they want to know every bit and when you yeah. get back you don't tell ah, mom. especially moms right they yeah. can be oh, even dads sure. can sometimes want to let you know but the moms are ah, hell no yes tell me are you okay if you if you tell mom i just got back like 30 oh why didn't you tell me when you mm. got into the mom i'm just i'm just trying to get back i'm just <laughs> trying to settle in another you should call me first in you yes. that's that's how they can be yes exactly and sometimes and that can be annoying yeah, right? they, they nag at you <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> 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 but I guess that's how they show how much they care about you, you know. Yeah, they don't want to lose track of you, <laughs> they don't want to make sure you're okay, safe at any point in time. I know they don't believe in their children growing up. Yeah, even if you're 50 years old, your mom you will always <laughs> see you as that that, that little the child, baby, that the baby, the baby the child, you know. Even if mom, mom, I'm old enough <laughs> to take care of us, I say no, you might be old to yeah. them out there, but to me. You're still my baby. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, this is exactly. this is good. Yeah. But in like, in a way, you know, when we don't feel that thing from them, we still feel abandoned. We still feel, and when they come with it, we feel disturbed. Like so, mm -hmm. it's kind of a mixed feeling, right? Yeah, mixed feeling. Like, so, <laughs> it gets kind of frustrating when they. It, it's, it's okay. No offense, mom, dad. Mom. You know, it gets kind of frustrating <laughs> sometimes because they really don't believe that I'm like capable of myself. You know? yeah, and yeah, then yeah. they're like, "No, -uh, <laughs> no, -uh, you're not." <laughs> you no, know, if if your mom has a way of sending a cable, like connecting that cable to you from the Philippines, like making sure oh. the cable does not leave, yeah. she will do that. They, they 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 just want to make sure they your mom especially the mothers moms yes, generally moms. they want to make sure they even uh, if it's possible to have another eye where they will be mm. watching you from there when you sleep they yes. will do that you know it's funny because they set up a cctv in my apartment <laughs> <laughs> They set a CCTV in my apartment and uh, they could actually talk through the CCTV. So I would just be chilling in the living room going through my phone and they would be like, Nadine. And I'm like, just Are like, you like, serious? Yeah, the CCTV would just like yeah, move, to, move to where to your, I am. Yeah. And then they're like talking to me like, did you eat? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Oh my yes. goodness. So I, so I literally feel like I, I don't have. That's, I just, the, that's the power of technology, you know? <laughs> Watching you from afar. Yeah, from afar. <laughs> real time. Oh they goodness. talk to me real time through this CCTV camera. So I would just coop up in my room so they don't <laughs> see me anymore. <laughs> I wish they can just come and mount to the camera in your in your in your classroom <laughs> and monitor you also. Oh my no God. parents are like that. Yeah. They they just feel they will give their children the maximum support. Yeah, exactly. I'm talking from experience. Yes, talking from experience. <laughs> of course, I think. So that's kind of good. Mm -hmm. Like me, I, we didn't have that opportunity to feel that warmth of love and protection yeah. from right. them. I, I I missed that a lot. Mm -hmm. And I used to envy my friends when we were small, you know. In the morning, their mom would be like, oh, have you done this? Have you done this? Have you put on mm -hmm. your school dresses? Yeah. Let's but for me, nobody tells you that, nobody asks you. You're just there on your own, taking responsibility of your own life, even at a very tender age. So I think Which is, you guys are lucky. Yeah, you had to grow up faster. I grew up very fast. I grew, I, I was already highly matured before the age of 10. Oh, that is so Because I was so practically sorry. in charge of myself. So yeah, so you protect yourself in the streets. Yeah. No one defends you. You know, my other siblings were quite young. 
So we were our own parents, our own mom mm. and dad. So it's, yeah. it's a good thing to, to have them because we know what we missed. Mm -hmm. You know, when they are there, there are some mistakes you won't do, but when you're that defenseless, even when people are there, even there is a, they, they give maximum protection, even in the absence of people know you have parents somewhere, mm -hmm. there are things they don't do to you, other than when they know there is nobody out there to protect you, you know? Mm -hmm they bully you they do anything they disregard you know so i think yeah. it's a good thing it's a good you do yeah. <laughs> it, it is pretty much i love my mom please can you that. can you mount a camera I'm in her classroom so, so <laughs> i love you but you we, know, we love you sending a, lots of love yeah i mean they do tell me like you're lucky that you have us <laughs> yeah, right? really? I'm like yes i really I know. really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just part of growing up, you know. Teens can be very yeah, um, yeah, fickle, yeah, I yeah. guess is the right word. We we are very like I said before. Parents are very particular of their girl child. Yeah, girl child. Yeah. Yeah. The guy can, you know, they if they give you hundred percent, they can give the guy forty percent because they believe, you know, society has a way of you know dealing with uh, girl child, you know. So yeah. our parents will always do their best to make sure we are safe. Yeah. 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 It's tough out there for all the women. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Almost everything is against us. So the people we have, our parents, you know, who yeah. can give us the protection we need. So, Mom, thank you. Thank you so much. Love you, <laughs> We love you. <laughs> oh, that's good. So, over to Maria. <laughs> Maria, please tell us one sweet. We, we want to digest Nadine's own now. <laughs> so, tell us one sweet story one sweet event that has happened in your life okay i would say like it's not recent but i would say moving to malaysia really helped me like discover myself and my parents were pretty supportive about it mm. and they really wanted me to take on the opportunity because you know i wanted to like become a better person, mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. which like it's pretty amazing because you can never know what you're capable of until you like try in the real world mm -hmm. like if you stay like under the same house with your parents you never know what you're truly capable of. and they too may not really believe in things you can do for yourself exactly right. and right. they don't see it at all mm. like, oh <laughs> <laughs> Ow. moms and dads oh. <laughs> these are all on oh, you I'm <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but yeah, it, it, i'm pretty like thankful that they pretty like trust me i think with huh. going on like a big adventure mm. like riding the plane alone as mm. a, a young True. age and yeah. like yeah going to a completely different like different place yeah. you know yeah it's just amazing to me i mean they have a level of um trust like they know you're you're young in age but mature to you know cater yeah. take care of yourself in their absence mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's it's, it. Uh, it's worth the risk. It's, yeah. it's really worth it. And it's up to you to make them proud. Yeah. You know, not to let them down with the trust no, they gave you. That's a bit too much you. pressure, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta. We gotta give back to them. In, you know? in everything, yeah. At least for them to, you know, most parents won't do that. It takes parents that are brave, you know. Mm. Parents that are resolute to yeah, really yeah. let their children yeah. live. So kudos to you, mom and dad. Oh, today is for you parents thank you so that's a good thing and we we can't let them down you know even me mom sometimes i was just like mom even though i didn't meet you and all that but i know you're giving birth to me you had so many hopes like dreams expectations of what this child will become in the future but unfortunately you're not here but even as in your absence I'll try everything to make you, you know, proud. I'll oh, do the I'm best sure I can. Proud, yeah, right? yeah. So I'm like, every, I, every time I, I say this, I say this. I say, Mom, I know you, we never met. We never have this connection. We, you know, you never hold me. Mm -hmm. You never hold me. But I know you're my mom somewhere mm -hmm. there, you know, wherever you are. She loves you. Ha, yes. Yeah. Yes. We, so we still have to live our life for them because they have so much dreams for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. That's a good one. Mm. So tell us, tell us a, tell us a very negative one that you've very something negative. you've experienced, yeah. Okay, it would probably be like with my parents too, because sometimes they don't understand me very well. Mm -hmm. and like when you try to explain yourself to them, like in your age, they don't really get you. No. So it's kind of it's kind of hard to like 
get on their mindset because they would be very very strict about some stuff but then exactly. at the same time they're not so it's pretty confusing right. you know and like you like you got to work around it to like not make them mad no my parents will always tell you when i was your age <laughs> yeah, yes. so it's your age. Yeah. <laughs> they want you to fit into what they did years back. Yeah. But kind of, you know, when they see things happening around in this present age, it's kind of weird to them. Mm -hmm. And they believe that so much morals have been lost and there's yeah. so much, uh, op things are happening really opposite direction, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So most parents will always want you to uphold, you know, that discipline and mm -hmm. all that, yeah. you know. They believe that when you make less friends, you at less risk of you know right yeah, being yeah, yeah. into so many things out there so i understand their fear anyway so yeah, okay. even though he's kind of i'm telling you i must as when they talk you you you're like yes mom Yes, okay, mom. Okay, yes, mom. Yeah, okay, that. completely unamused. I'm like, yeah, I'm just, just saying yes for the sake of replying at this point. <laughs> this is what I'm like, well, I don't want to argue with you. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Was, everything is okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that, that's yeah. that's it. But in everything, sometimes you know, age controls our actions. Yes, so maybe yes. now you will not really understand. Yeah. I came to understand this aspect of things when I grew, you know, to full maturity mm -hmm. and then started making a family and then making a baby. Like mm -hmm. that thought, that stage of life makes you understand, oh, okay, this is what, because that one, when, when you, you know, when you have your own, like, you protect your thing at all costs, mm. you, you can even give your life for it, so, right. most times we, I, I came to love my parents, appreciate them more, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. the moment I gave birth, yeah. so I say, this is what they went through, this is what I'm going through, so actually my parents went through this, you know, sleepless nights, yeah. and all that so i think they they know what they are fighting for even though yeah. sometimes they can be to the extreme mm -hmm. and they're not ready to you know come down for you mm -hmm. they will always want you to come to where they want you yeah, to be yeah, so sure. <laughs> parents you know we yeah. just we just we just have to you know deal with them and they try to mm -hmm. <laughs> so, especially the moms they're like mother knows best you so know? so what do you what do you want to from your own idea what do you want to tell someone out there nothing um, for those who have protected parents, yeah, right? yeah, okay. I guess manage them. <laughs> you know, um, I'm still going through that phase. You know, uh. I'm still a teenager, seventeen. I'm growing up. I'm I'm still immature at times, and mm. it, uh, you know, I get kind of stupid. I mess up, and then they get mad. Mm. So I guess it's understandable. But I do feel like I'm I'm slowly growing up, slowly maturing, especially. Now that I'm so far away of, uh, from far home. away from them, you know, mm. and it gets me to appreciate them more when they're um, when they're not here with me. Exactly. You know, like I I, I miss their presence. Them now, taking care. Now now you have to be your own. Yeah. Now I have to be my own, and so I I guess it's just you know it doesn't you don't have to immediately like you know just cling to your parents and mm. like i love you mm. all the time you know mm. yeah. I, you can you can feel something else you can feel that defiance mm. defiance you know um you can i guess rebel as a teen it's like pretty much normal <laughs> it's you know, very that, normal that, yeah that, through that phase but eh. you just know that you have to come to appreciate them mm. over time you know time. give back to them you know let them know that you love them back mm -hmm. and uh yeah, just go with the flow. I'm <laughs> telling you. Go with the flow. They, yeah. they'll, you can show them how much you, they, you love them. Just, mm -hmm. just say I love you, and they'll, they'll appreciate it. That will be, <laughs> and that, that, that's one of the best things you can give to parents. Yeah. When yeah. you tell them you love them, oh, it's the highest gift you can mm -hmm. present to your parents. Sure. So, Mariam, what do you have to tell us? For people who are like with over yeah, overprotective parents, yeah. you know, tell I them they are there. There are a lot of them out there. They are confused sometimes <laughs> <laughs> from your experience. Okay, I would honestly say like literally go with the flow because there's nothing else to do. Because at the end of the day, like they're still your parents. Uh -huh. and you mm -hmm. Exactly. And you gotta deal with them because like they're family, and of course they love you. This is their way of showing you that they care about you. Mm -hmm. So like. Don't, try not 
to judge because you're gonna yeah. miss this feeling of mm. them, like saying don't do this don't do that yes. yeah once you're like out there in the real world there is no one taking care of you you're like on your own mm. yeah so it's it's gonna be so much different so i would say like try to not argue a lot mm. and just listen to them honestly yeah. honestly yeah. you don't have to argue because they most of they act out of experience yeah. you know yeah. they've been there before us so whatever they do they're just doing it to our own best interest yeah. even though some of them can go very extreme you know yeah. but everything is still out of love you know? out of love yeah. Mm. yeah and i guess uh, for those protective parents out there <laughs> <laughs> for those protective parents out there, I guess a, a message for them would be uh, just um, if there is anything um, your child is um, interested in, their passion and whatever it may be, and something foreign to you, something you don't really understand, mm. maybe uh, get uh, just sit down with them and have a chat and mm. get to really know why they're into that or why they under why they're they're passionate for something that wow. you don't understand. Mm, mm, get mm. to understand your child more and maybe after that conversation you'll get to really um wow. nurture them on another level you know? this is deep right yeah <laughs> you know yeah no, this is this is, is really because this is really deep I'm, I'm really thankful for my parents because um as a I, i've always been uh that person who's into art mm. you know and usually asian parents are like mm. no be a mm. doctor be yeah, an exactly. engineer yeah but i'm so thankful for my parents because they were never they were never like that mm. they were like Oh, you you wanna draw? You wanna be an? You wanna draw? It's fine. Mm. You can just just do that as your job. If that's if that's what you want, yeah. then do it because that's what you love. You that's know? your and passion. That's yeah, your it's, interest. it's what's gonna make you happy. And just you know, for the message. Uh, that's <laughs> that's that. Yeah. Yeah. For the strict parents no, out there. No, so many parents yeah. are very strict. They yeah. they only want what they want for their child. Yeah. They should also have in mind that. Um, you giving birth to your child doesn't mean you're in control mm -hmm. of your child's future mm -hmm. you know we come with different passions yes you may want me to be a medical doctor and i want to be a caterer mm -hmm. that's where my passion lies yes. and you know most children have failed because they followed their parents part like mm -hmm. most especially in in the right way you know mm -hmm. parents should try to be kind of um, flexible and considerate to yes. their children like yes. follow their passion so long as it's and the right part is a good thing is a it's a noble cause yes we should know how to support mm -hmm. guide and you know give them the full um, courage or encouragement yes. that our children need that yeah. was that, that that's a deep point you know most times yeah. they these these are these children talking to parents all <laughs> time around you know yeah you know. they are here talking to parents parents please you people should listen you know yeah yeah they, because the world is actually changing mm -hmm. they're getting more digitalized by the day yes. but most of them want you to follow the traditional the you know traditional. way but the safe ways yeah, yeah the world is really changing mm -hmm. and as much as we are still in the rapidly changing um, environment mm -hmm. yeah. we should always um, beware that um, moral is the standard mm -hmm. to live yeah, in and in any course we are pursuing as children we should also apply moral to everything mm -hmm. yes and in daring the we can only be you know most should, kids are exposed to so many things and no no parents will want that yeah no parents will want that. So in everything, mom, dad, we love you. <laughs> Nadine and Mariam, uh, yes. good to have you. Oh, I, I, you I know, have every you. day I host anybody, I learn. I oh, learn yes. from, yeah, everyone, it's getting to my head. <laughs> it makes me a better person, too. Yeah. I don't just listen and put it out there. I, I get my own as well because it helps me. It's it helps me as well, yeah. So, so this is also quite eye-opening. Yeah, it's really, yes. really, really for me. Yeah, my, that's why I love, you know, this real chat you don't just let it come natural so that yeah, yeah. that's the only time we can get our lessons from it nice having you both thank, nice you. Having, thank yeah, you so yes. much thank you so much hope to have you again here yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank, thank you, you so thank you <laughs> we all have um gained uh, from the stories of these beautiful people here and this one today i think it goes to parents this ladies here are trying to tell our parents to you know try to understand their children and know what their passions are in order to encourage them and assist them in their journey 
other than to you know force them into what they as parents want their children to be and this is a big lesson and an eye opener to parents out there so please try to listen more to your children and know what they really want until the next edition of this program i remain your girl hope no my anchor in the current show be sure that you stay safe and stay cool out there see you in the next program <laughs>